Yeah, I um, I was about to start recording, and then the piano, the piano begins. The piano sounds. Whatever, fuck it. Hey, Easter, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite songs, and today I'm gonna be doing another things video where I talk about things. Yes, I'm gonna be talking about. Uh, songs that are released in the past month, I'm going to be putting them in categories. I'm going to be categorizing these songs into uh, best songs, worst songs, and songs that are kind of in the middle. Uh, yeah, let's start off with uh, a big one. Ariana Grande and Victoria Monet with Monopoly, a little uh, f uh, B-side track. Well, it's not really B-side, it's just a fun, random, single thing that... They decided to put out, and it's um it's a pretty average song. While the production is not that bad, and the performances are, I guess, pretty fun and kind of childish. Uh, yeah, the I don't care for the beat. It's kind of it's kind of generic. And then up next we have Cage the Elephant and Beck going together for a track titled Night Running. And uh, even though I I love both uh, of these uh. Well, not love, but I think both of these artists are uh, uh, do have potential of making great music. I think this track is just okay. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's a little bit messy, in fact. Uh, even though uh, the instrumentals are um, interesting sounding. Up next, we have Chong the Nomad for two colors, and it's this. Uh, a very low-key, lo-fi, art-pop track that's really quiet with some um, really minimal minimalistic drum beats and some uh, uh, very plain vocals, and I guess it's just, you know, there's just nothing all that special about the track. And then we have Ciara with Thinking About You, and, uh, I'm sorry, Thinking About You. Thinking About You. And um, it's uh, it's very different from all the other Ciara tracks I've heard. It's very very poppy, very very sugar sugar coated. I need to drink some water. And it's really really poppy, really really sugar coated. Uh, maybe a little too much in fact. And uh, yeah, the performances are um, tolerable, not terrible, but come on. And then up next, we have Comethazine, Comethazine, and ASAP Rocky with the Walk remix, and it's just okay. Nothing all that special about it. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then we have a Crumb with a new track, Nina, and it's, uh, it's a very mild, uh, psychedelic indie pop rock track, uh, um... Yeah, yeah, it's it's really mild. It's so mild, it's kind of sleepy almost, but it's not boring, it's just mild. I guess that's the right word. And then we have a Diane Coffee with Like a Child Does, which is a, is, um, is a, another uh, indie uh, rock-esque kind of track. And it's, uh, I think it's a little overproduced, but you know, that's just me, whatever. And uh, I think the uh, the chord progressions and the melodies of the track doesn't really uh, go together all quite well. And then up next we have Lil Nas X Old Town Road Remix featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. What? What? Billy Ray Cyrus is featured on this new Lil Nas X track. If you don't know what is Old Town Road, it's been a very, very, very viral track. And it's this emo trap country track that that's actually surprisingly not that bad and billy ray cyrus is on it so wow and then uh, i'm also gonna have to give a shout out to mac demarco with all of our yesterdays and uh it's uh while it's really quiet uh and it's uh very soothing and I I like the, uh, the the aesthetics of the track because Mac DeMarco's style had always been this soothing and nice. But uh, this track just feels kind of kind of weak, kind of mild, um, not all that interesting sounding. The hook 
and the uh, the the verses aren't really uh, all that. Um, I don't know why did I close my eyes. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just not a huge fan of the track. And then up next we have No Vacation with the track Yam Yam. I don't know how did I stumble upon this track, but I was scrolling through YouTube and it popped up, and here we go. And it's basically this uh, um, uh, in like a you know like a very soft um indie rock pop track nice instrumentals nice instrumentals indeed uh okay sp people are texting me one sec okay uh yeah nice instrumentals but overall it's uh it's a pretty mundane track pretty average uh you know the the vocals they aren't really all that special or anything qrs yes up next, we have uh, Rosalia and J Balvin. They are coming together with the track Con Altura. And uh, yeah, Con Altura, Con Altura, Con Dura, whatever. Con Altura. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge, you know, difference between this track and many other tracks that Rosalia had done. Uh, mainly because it's... Um, a, you know, reggae tone track, and not a uh, flamenco art pop track, and uh, yeah, this track does sound pretty awkward. Not gonna lie. Even though um, Rosalia's voice is fantastic, still sounds awkward. Uh, yeah, up next, unfortunately, Tame Impala have to be on this list for uh, the track Patience. And uh, yeah, the instrumentals are fantastic. It's tasteful. It's colorful. I love the grooves, but the vocals are just kind of stiff and kind of robotic. And then, uh, you know, same goes for the new Tierra Whack track. She's still dropping tracks week by week. Why? Uh, this track is titled Unemployed and, uh, you know, solid vocals, solid production. But the beat and the instrumentals are actually pretty generic. Pretty uh, one-dimensional, and um, the track just kind of pales. And at the end, Wand with Waki Talkie. A uh, very rough uh, psych rock track that's kind of stiff. Um, I wish that uh, they would come out with something a little more uh, weird and despondent. But yeah, let's move on to the worst tracks. Bad songs. Bad. Uh, I, I literally said the same thing before I started talking about uh, w the worst songs on the last video, last things video. Anyway, uh, AV Tears Horse, uh, but without the E, because, you know, it's, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, Horse uh, without the E, but uh, with an underscore, uh, it's actually a, a pretty weird, uh, almost gross sounding synth pop track that just feels so stiff and uneasy and robotic and then up next you have broken social scene with the track can't find my heart and it's just this uh very average generic mundane uh indie pop rock track with some really weak instrumentals okay budos band with the track uh veil of shadows veal of shadows veil veal whatever and it's a very bland and one-dimensional post-rock track with a little in terms of a, a very compelling guitar riff or whatever. And unfortunately, I also have to put the new Grimes demo track here, uh, Princessa. It's a secret Grimes track re released on SoundCloud uh, under the name Dark. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it, it says Princessa in and Russian letters, and it's uh, it's a demo track, it's short, it's kind of a mess, it's, it's a blur, and I, I, I don't know, man, I don't know, maybe, maybe start releasing some complete tracks, uh, <clears throat> but, you know, Grimes is still one of the most special and uh, one-of-a-kind art pop artists out there, yeah. And then uh, we have Jonas Brothers with the track Cool. And uh, I I have to apologize uh, to uh, 
The Jonas Brothers, I have to apologize to Priyanka Chopra, to Sophie Turner, but I don't like this track. It's, um, not only does it sound outdated and corny, uh, it just sounds like a very failed attempt at trying to, you know, heat the party up and, uh, get the girls dancing. It's just a, a very, uh, very lame attempt. Uh, up next we have Kid Bookie and Corey Taylor of Slipknot. Uh, with the track stuck in my ways. And, um, you know, they are, wow, wow, they are collaborating. Corey Taylor is Slipknot, right? Wait, wait up. Yeah. It, nope, I'm right. Corey Taylor is from Slipknot, and this track sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, with all due respect, um, you know, the auto tune on this track is just really obnoxious. The beats, they are just so tone deaf almost. And up next we have Logic with the track Confessions of a Dangerous Mind disguised as a PSA, a public service announcement. But as it turns out, it's just um, a, a very generic and boring rap song with some, um, uh, you know, simplistic and redundant instrumentals. Uh, I mean, his flow is pretty nice, but uh, come on. And then up next we have Modest Mouse with Poison the Well. Uh, unfortunately, I have to put Modest Mouse in the worst tracks. You know, I've considered, I've considered putting Modest Mouse in the, in the middle. But, uh, yeah, this track is just a mess. It's, it's just this very, uh, raw and poorly, like, raw in a bad way and poorly produced, uh, rock track with some really weirdly mixed instrumentals. And then up next we have, uh, Perry Farrell with Pirate Punk Politician. Uh, worst song, worst song that I'm gonna be mentioning in the entire video. Gosh, this song sucks ass. Um, yeah, where do I even start? Where do I even start? It's absolutely obnoxious. His vocals sound like a tone deaf robot trying to sound as human as possible, and it just ends up as awkward. And don't even get started on the instrumentals, they suck ass. Okay, they are chunky, clunky, and barely intelligible, uh, barely enjoyable. Actually, not enjoyable at all. Anyway, uh, speaking of not enjoyable, Schoolboy Q with Chopsticks featuring Travis Scott. Huge disappointment. Huge disappointment. Uh, you know, Schoolboy Q is a, is a legitimately talented rapper, but yet he had to come out with this half-assed obnoxious track with some obnoxious auto-tune and some really boring and uh, repetitive beats and also unfortunately i have to put sky ferrera on the list here with the track downhill lullaby it's just painfully boring painfully boring uh, lacks dynamic lacks a strong hook a chorus a versus whatever it lacks structure uh, I do like the vocals, and, uh, I, I kinda guess, I kinda get the, uh, the appeal of the aesthetics of the track, but it's, it's just not for me. And also, I forgot to mention that in the middle, I, I have to put, uh, the, the Sigrid track, Don't Feel Like Crying. Uh, it's been getting a lot of attention, it had gained a million views on YouTube now, and it's, a uh, it's a, it's a pretty fluffy, light-hearted, uh, danceable art pop tune that's, uh, kind of fun, but I guess the chorus is kind of weak. Uh, anyway, there are, uh, there's a shitload of awesome songs that I'm gonna cover in the video, so, uh, buckle your seatbelts, grab some popcorn, let's start off with Anderson Pack, another amazing track, Make It Better, featuring Smokey Robinson, and it's a very beautiful, uh, funky pop track that's just super duper sweet and lovely. And then we have Black Meaty with Crow's Perch, which is this experimental uh, underground rock track with some interesting instrumentals, and it's a very intri an intriguing track, after all. Up next, gotta, gotta give it to Big Thief with the track Cat Tales or Cat Tales. And uh, yeah, the amateurish vocals just make the personality of the track 
uh, stands out a little more. And of course, the the instrumentals, they are pretty nice, pretty smoothing, smoothing, soothing. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's basically this indie folk rock track and a certain radio, uh, sorry, a certain ratio has a new track, House in Motion, and it's actually a Talking Heads cover, and it's very charismatic. Uh, the bass is very groovy and very sassy. The vocals are very cool and chill, and I just love the vibe. And also, I forgot to cover this track uh, on the Last Things video. It's the Chemical Brothers with the track We've Got to Try, and it's um pretty speedy, exciting, energetic, electronic track that's uh, pretty fun. And also, I got to mention uh, The Comet is Coming with the track Summon the Fire, and it's a really smart and cutting-edge blend of uh, jazz and rock music, and I love it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna review their latest album very soon, next month, uh, that is, because I still have two mini-album uh, review videos to upload this month, and one of them is 2016 edition, and uh, yeah, anyway, Dominic Fike! with the track Three Nights, and it's actually really catchy, it's actually really compelling, it's uh, it's really accessible as well, and um, a lot of potential, I can see a lot of potential. And then up next we have Foxygen with the track Face the Facts, and it is a very uh, uh, Lou Reed heavily inspired track with some nice vocals, some cool instrumentals in the back that's uh, really making the track even more chilly, technical, death metal band, uh, yeah, well, death metal band, full of hell, another track titled Burning Myrrh, and it's, uh, surprisingly, uh, well, not surprisingly, but, like, um, of course, obviously, um, a great death metal track with some really wild and fun and savage, uh, guitar riffs and, uh, yeah, and some crazy ass vocals as well. And then up next we have the Get Up Kids with The Problem Is Me. And it's this uh, emotional, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, wh what's the word? Youthful. Youthful um, rock track. Just pure uh, meat and potatoes um, indie rock track. That's loud and uh, expressive. And up next we have a uh, Holy Ghost with an exclamation mark with the track Escape from Los Angeles, and it's another uh, really fun, uh, entrancing, uh, danceable uh, dance track, electronic dance track, uh, and uh, I love the beats on the thing, the sampling is great, I love it, and then up next we have uh, Jamila Woods with the track Eartha, and it's actually this uh, pretty beautiful uh R&B track that's uh, also kind of catchy and I love the vocals and then up next we have JPEG Mafia with The Who featuring Aeus or uh, Aeus um, yeah kind of on the fence with this track uh, uh, but after a couple listens I love it a lot uh, I love the moody instrumentals and, and as usual his performances uh, goes hard he goes really hard on the track and I love it and then Ooh, King Gizzard of the Lizard Wizard with Boogeyman Sam, which is, uh, uh, you know, I'm just really glad that uh, not all of the tracks on their next album uh, are going to be as corny and as cheesy and as dumb as Fishing for Fishies. Uh, <laughs> But Boogeyman Sam is, a, is is an actually really well composed and really well performed and really well arranged psych rock track that really goes back to its psychedelic roots. And then we have the track Planet B from the same band. And oh boy, this track slams. This track slams. Oh my gosh. This is, this might be the heaviest track from the band yet. And the music video. The freaking music video is so wild and fun. The entire band is uh, uh, is wearing these orange clothes and they're being chased after by this crazy man with a gun and and they're having a lot of fun and damn, the, the music video is so much fun. And um, the track itself just, yeah, you 
You have to listen to it. You, you must. And also, Little Uzi Vert pops up out of nowhere, returns with the track Free Uzi, and, uh, wow. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. Little Uzi Vert is the, the, the only talented mumble trap rapper that I know of, I guess. But yeah, Little Uzi Vert is talented actually, cause damn, damn, his flows on this track is just like, it's not even mumble anymore. He's not mumbling anymore. There's a huge stylistic change actually. And uh, the beat is also really, uh, really uh, industrial and it goes hard. It's a banger and it's a banger that has a lot of flavor and I'm I'm surprised. I'm genuine. I'm genuinely surprised that that little Uzi Vert is capable of pulling off something this this hard and this uh, aggressive, I guess. And then up next, of course, Lizzo with Tempo featuring Missy Elliott. Four singles, uh, four four four, uh, to be uh, in the best section. Uh, awesome track. Really nice, tasteful beat. Sassy performances from both Lizzo and Missy Elliott. And then up next, we have Marissa Nadler and Stephen Brodsky with an, with another track, Estranged. And it's another haunting and beautiful ballad. Yeah, they're just, they're, their album is going to be full of ballads. And it's, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Also, speaking of beautiful tracks, Mavis Staples with the track Char Changes. Sorry, Changes. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I love the very soulful and uh, actually muscular vocals by Mavis Staples. I love the entire uh, vibe of the track being um, very kind of kind of dreary, but also uh, kind of soulful and uh, has a lot of flavor to it, has a lot of texture to it, the underground texture that I typically enjoy. And then uh, another national song that I really like. It's titled Light Years. And it's another um, kind of uplifting and fun and lightweight track that's um, that's not caring too much about um, anything else. Yeah. And also Nocturnus AD. Nocturnus AD uh, with the track Paradox. It's a technical death metal track that's uh, that's like a roller coaster with a lot of uh, weird up and down guitar riffs that just, you know, that's really freaky. And um, I enjoy the overall sound of the thing a lot, actually. And Pile, uh, with the track The Soft Hands of Stephen Miller, and it's a, a really solid and, and compelling noise punk track with some, um, with some uh, you know... Um, shouty vocals kind of reminds me of Daughters actually reminds me of Daughters a lot and then a pup 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 with two tracks Scorpion Hill and Sibling Rivalry I may review their latest album uh, Morbid Things uh, and that album may end up in my year end list because it's really good and uh, yeah the yeah uh, even though the vocals are a little stiff uh this these two tracks are two absolutely uh well performed uh rock tracks um yeah what else can i say the guitar riffs are just so fun and and um appealing i i i guess and uh quelle chris quelle chris uh with the track obamacare and it slams hard it slams really really hard and and my goodness, my goodness, the the new tracks that he's coming up with are just really accessible and catchy for some reason. And damn, the beat on this thing is just so, so uh, interesting and intricately produced. And his performance is cool AF. Another uh, really muscular uh, punk rock band, Sebado, comes out with the track Stunned. Again, muscular guitar riffs fun performances and overall a pretty catchy and compelling song and uh, also a seba copstad uh with the track africa and it's a very beautiful and stunning piece of r&b track that's 
uh, yeah, very interesting sounding. And also, uh, Tim Hecker with You Never Were, another really intricate and, uh, interesting, uh, ambient track sampling some eerie, uh, I think, you know, sampling some eerie Asian instruments, uh, you know, the Asian strings, you know, the, uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's a very interesting and well-produced ambient track. And then we have Titus Andronicus with I Blame Society. And it's a, it's a very exciting and adrenaline-pumping uh, rock rager with some angry, blunt lyrics. And, uh, wow, I don't, I didn't expect Titus Andronicus to, to, uh, you know, go this hard to make a track. But here we are. And also, Vampire Weekend with This Life and Unbearably White. And both of, the tra both, both of these tracks are incredibly catchy, incredibly uplifting, and uh, uh, very refreshing, actually. Really rejuvenating, actually. And then at the end, Wise Blood or Ways Blood with the track Movies. Really well produced, interesting, spacey instrumentals. Uh, great vocals, and... Uh, her new album, I'm probably also going to be reviewing it. And then, yeah, I'm also going to talk about some other things, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, first things first, Game of Thrones Season 8, the final season, oh my gosh. Four days, four days, and then Game of Thrones Season 8 starts, so you better start, you know, preparing. You better start recapping yeah in fact tomorrow uh actually a, a couple days later i'm gonna drop uh, a game of thrones recap video i'm gonna record it tomorrow and drop it the next day and yes stay tuned and also a uh, really interesting a really interesting um news is that around yesterday the first ever photo of a black hole is taken and boy i I'm always very interested uh, about black holes and astronomy as a whole. And seeing the first ever real photo of a black hole and not just some animation, not just some screensaver, it's, wow, it's mind-blowing, it's amazing, it's interesting, and it's, uh, you know, what really amazes me is that it's a it's a huge step for the evolution of the uh, astronomical uh, knowledge of the people of humans and uh, oh boy I'm I'm just really really intrigued by how a black hole works how it looks how it um, you know how do you see it actually I also want to take some time out to say rest in peace Nipsey Hussle he's a great man and um, he uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just so disgraceful to to die in your own place in your own part of the city, southern LA. And uh you know, he's he's a special person because instead of uh you know, investing a lot of money on drugs and women and uh nice houses and nice cars and you know, uh you know, nice accessories he invests a lot of money on uh, business and on land. He's really strategic about things and he's a smart person. And it just, it just sucks to, to see him go. Rest in peace, rest in power, Nipsey Hussle. Yes. So yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on these songs? Like if you like them, hate if you hate them, subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.